but we will focus our attention on what's trying to move up right along this stationary front that's going to try to lift closer to us. That'll focus many rounds of rain again. Still not think it's going to last all day though, so keep that in mind. But the first portion of the day looks about as soggy as what we saw this morning. So that's why we're giving you the yellow triangle impacting you for the overnight hours. Thunderstorms likely morning temperature 65 degrees. So the Readings stay fairly cool for this time of year. And then during Thursday or Tuesday morning, scattered thunderstorms still a possibility. Heavy downpours as well. Look at the temperature. Only one tick up. That's about all. And it's the first portion of your day. I think they'll be the worst part to try to get us through dry. Here's a look at first alert future scan. Picking up at the present time. Focus your attention right in here. Even by three or four in the morning, showers and thunderstorms. Meteorologist Nick Bender will be here. On his watch during first news tomorrow morning, another chance of showers and thunderstorms. Probably not as strong right now. The severe other threat doesn't look as widespread. Maybe a little hail, maybe some wind gusts up to about 40 miles an hour, but the torrential rain is going to be the biggest thing we have to worry about. This is 9 o'clock with the biggest shield of rain moving farther off to the east. Then you still get some leftovers behind that. And we still can't totally dry out until even early afternoon. So although it looks like the bigger batch moves out from Marshall and Sedalia earlier in the, say, late morning hours, by noontime, lighter showers. That's why you see only green as opposed to those yellow or orange centers. And also certainly not as widespread. So it's not a constant curtain of rain that will be moving through. Then as we go through the afternoon hours, not much sunshine. And we're going to see some fog in the morning as well. And keep that in mind heading into, say, the afternoon hours and the potential for rainfall, every bit of an inch to an inch and a half additional as we start off the next month. That's the way it's looking. Here's a look at the exclusive first alert nine day forecast 77 tomorrow and then drying out morning fog 82 degrees bouncing between the 70s and the 80s for the rest of the nine day forecast. Not all weekend looking wet, but 84 on your Sunday and then Labor Day itself a high temperature of 74, but still a chance of some thunderstorm.